Breaking RG though. What's going on, guys? This is our next episode of VUY, episode number two. And right now, I'm with my boy Marcus. Thanks for uh, having me. And at first, I want to appreciate you, uh, uh, you know, supporting the brand, supporting the business for me. You know, it really means a lot, you know, I mean, coming from you, you know. You know, I wanted to talk about, <clears throat> you know, what's the next move? What, what's the move that you think, you know, maybe you should do if, you know, to stop feeling, when you're feeling depressed or feeling down? What's a what's a great option for you to you know turn that turn that around? Money. It's all about money. Uh -huh. How to get it? How to make it? How to make more of it? I think I think me. I think time. You know, is better than money. I don't know if you believe that. Yeah, like you need two things in this world: H two O and H two Do. I fuck with that H two Do. Okay. Want to know what we should do for real, bro? Go ahead. Not only is it something we like, but it's something that can always be improved, always. Like, there's a there's a million, billion of it, but there's always better, and people are looking for better. Liquor. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine, like, like, what are we looking for? We're looking for something that tastes good. Mm-hmm. Something that doesn't give you a hangover. Right, that's, believe, you that's know, what I yep, buy into that's that. 100. And, yeah, so. Well, that'd be a great idea, though, I mean. <clears throat> I mean, maybe that's something that might be your niche. That might be something you could you do. I mean, and you gotta you gotta put in consideration like where some some people have great ideas like that one, but then they start going into it and they're like, "Fuck, you know, is my shit gonna be better than Hennessy or Colin or anything like that?" Or "Fuck, uh, should sh do I have this much money?" Or I mean, or any type of an excuse like negative excuse where whatever it makes you not do it. You just gotta go do it. That's what I did with this shit. I didn't think about. Oh, I'm gonna go against these people. Or oh, oh, I just said fuck it. How do I buy it? And how much is it gonna be? And what should I package it in? And I bought it. Didn't think about it. Some people are gonna tell you, you should have thought twice about it. But those are people that don't do. I don't do anything. So you gotta just buy it. Fuck it. Buy it and sell it. Where do you get the money to even start? Not that most people who are. I heard that line too. I think I'm a bit realistic though on that. Was you gotta find. Um, you do got to chop down a price. If that price is like in your budget, then hit it. But let's just say if it's out of your budget, then you got to find something different and still have that liquor shit in your goal in your head and try to like, okay, let's just start building some capital from different places and then boom, hit that that liquor idea. And then, then you can get going to what I just said, the, the, the path. Just buy it, fuck it, and sell it. So you got to find maybe find something different, find something a little smaller that can give you some uh, capital. Maybe it could be through a job. But maybe it could be something else, a job and something else. So that would be like, that would be the best way I would say. Maybe that's how the rich get richer, before <clears throat> stay poor. I mean, who knows? Because I mean, you don't have it. The rich have it, so they, you can take that shot. You can risk it. If you lose it, you still got it. If you hit, you make even more. The yeah. Poor can't. You don't have it to even attempt. Yeah. And if you do have it, and you know this is your one shot, and you mm -hmm. fail, you're SOL. What do you do now? You're back to being broke. And you just lost some money. Well, yeah, it's one of those things where like uh, you fail sometimes, or you gotta keep going. Like it's, that's it's the same shit. Dude. Like if this underwear shit's gonna fail, and I'm I'm the one. I'm the first. I think I'm probably the first one because people are talking about. Nigga, people don't ever put their their failures on social media. They like to put their successes, and that's what makes people feel like, damn, he's successful. But they never, you know, really post their failures. I'm posting this, and uh, you know, fuck it. if uh, this shit don't work out, I'm gonna scrap it up and do something different. You gotta have that mentality. It's all the mentality you have. So it's like, you know, fuck it. I'm, at least I'm trying. You're failing for. You're like, oh, that's not working. But this worked. So maybe I can apply that to my next my next venture. So it's like, you know, you keep doing that repetitively, and you're gonna be going somewhere different because you're learning while you're growing. You know. That's true. And I already know you. You you're ready to go. You just need to find that niche or whatever it is. Just go. Like go for it. Like. That's what I did. I wanted to just like hurry up, hurry up and do something like this is not this is not it. And I was like, <sighs> and I found the idea and I said, fuck it, doing that. I didn't even think about it. Some people are gonna tell you you should have thought twice about it, but 
Nah, man, those people don't do anything. If you think twice about it, you gotta just do it. Like trying something just like shooting for the stars type thing. What would you do? Oh, like, like, like a like venture? I would want to be, if I go back, I would attempt to be a DJ. Like a thing. That's what I would do. That's what I wish I could do. Yeah, that'd be dope. That'd be a dope job. Look at like, DJ Poly D. He gets paid like 50K every every fucking venue he's at. Fuck. What? 26. Can't do it. Or I mean, could no, see, here's what I'm saying. Yeah, you, it doesn't matter what the age, though. You can do it whenever you want. You can start tomorrow. I don't think you should, you can ever put whatever you want. A, you can't ever put a date on it. You can, it can happen in your 50s, in your 40s. You might be bored. You say, fuck it. I'm going to do something different. I'm bored of this. Yeah. But, I mean, you, I think, I think people our age can all like, well, this is life, getting over it. This is uh, pretty much it, uh, black and white. I mean, people people don't start getting really, really too wealthy until their 30s. 2 chains was fucking known at 32, 31. Um, but like, you can you can be a still, you can still be a DJ. You just gotta have that in your mind. Like, like you just gotta have it in your mind. Like, I'm gonna be a DJ, I'm gonna be a DJ. And you're not doing anything, but you're still saying to yourself, I'm gonna be a DJ, DJ, DJ. Your actions are gonna eventually follow. Like, I'm, just keep telling yourself, I'm, I'm gonna do this. This is my shit. People are gonna say, like, No, you're not. You're not. I'm gonna keep doing it. And you're not. You're not putting any, any work towards it. But then you start going. Eventually, you're like, Damn, I can't believe I'm actually uh, practicing how to DJ right now. Yeah. And it's been already it's like three months that you've been saying you're gonna be a DJ. But you're like, Fuck. You know, this shit just happens slow. You gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. And all of a sudden, your actions just start following your words. And you're just like, Damn. That's the power of just telling yourself, I'm gonna be a DJ, I'm gonna be a DJ. And you start doing it. Fuck, just imagine what if I was like a DJ and like Armani was a singer. That shit would be lit. And that would be tight to do. Mm hmm. Like, fuck. Like, I'll be thinking about some stuff like that too. Like, sometimes, like, sometimes I wanna rent out a venue, like a maybe like Vibes or something, and uh, ask how much it is to rent it out and maybe and charge people and give them all the commission and all that, all the profit. I just want to see how it would be if I would throw, like a throw a little, like a little function at that spot, basically for the free, you know. She's gonna be playing slaps, and you're being the DJ. You're the one hosting the whole thing. You're not getting any money out of it, and that's fine. But you're kind of getting like some uh, credibility. So whereas, if Vibe said, "Hey, I like the business that you brought," you're not gonna do that shit again for free. So you're gonna be like, you know, you had, the, yeah, you had the power to uh, start making money out of what you want to do. Shit, you can tie that into your underwear. Yeah, I know. I want to do that. But I'm not sure if it's that like, easy. You're saying that's in my head how I'm gonna do it. See, I already have it in my head. Like this is what's gonna happen, and then um, it might not even be possible. But then you start talking to people from Vibes to see if it's possible, and that's when you start having negotiations. Who's gonna turn down free? Like you're not gonna get paid. I mean, first, I mean, think about it. Like you don't have to start that big yet. I mean, not saying that that's huge, but I mean. Yeah. Like imagine when you were doing your little bone shit back in the day. Yeah, yeah. And you were throwing a party. It was all. Word of mouth, really. It was. Just it, was. it got huge. So, but yeah, man, you know, it was nice talking some, uh, you know, some some knowledge with you with some good content, and how I'm gonna end up the show is like, you know, if you can give me give you know people who is watching maybe three top, you know, maybe ideas, success tips, or whatever whatever you think that's that would be helpful. First things, what would you do? I mean, I think, mm -hmm. you know, try to think of something outside the box or something inside the box but different than mm -hmm. whatever else is inside the box. I don't know. I guess after that, kind of research pretty much. Mm -hmm. Whether if you have an idea, research. Right, right. See if it's been done before, if it can be improved, if it hasn't been done before. And even aside from that, you research one thing, you can come across, you know, something you branch off to this way, that way, something completely different. And, you know, the one thing that you initially started with is no longer a thought and you're, you're onto something new. If we're going to be cliche, take the jump. I mean, just go for it. Mm -hmm. Wayne Gretzky. Mm -hmm. And I quote, don't quote me. I think it was, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> big facts, big facts. All right, bro, you know, I would appreciate you coming on the show for me. Uh, you know, for the second episode of VUI, Vibing Underneath the Influence. You know, that was really uh, some great content. You know, and I, you know, hopefully, hopefully we, we come back. We can probably come back again. Maybe you have something to... Some, some type of improvement. Start you start going on your venture, you know. Yeah, I appreciate it. Appreciate you hearing me out, letting me pick your brain. Too, I'm actually you know learning a lot of stuff from you. Like those three top success tips, and you know, well, we're starting something different. Tips. <laughs> All right, bro. Good looking.